Hello and welcome to my video about a recent visit we did to Volcano Boas. This is located just over one hour from the International Airport in Alajuela, Costa Rica. Now if you're visiting the Central Valley area of Costa Rica, then Volcano Boas is a must-see destination. This volcano is active and has one of the largest craters in the world. The last major eruption of this volcano was on September 30th of 2019, which was not that long ago and it was spectacular. Hello everybody, this is Roger Peterson and on this channel we provide information for those of you that are interested in visiting or living in Costa Rica. So let's get started. Now of course, during your visit to Volcán Poas, you're going to view the crater to the volcano. But in addition to that, you can walk to the beautiful Crater Lake. And all of this is located within the Poas Volcano National Park, which is home to a great variety of plants and wildlife as well. So, if we start driving from the International Airport of Juan Santa Maria as a reference point, we're going to be heading towards the city of Alajuela, which, by the way, is the second largest city in Costa Rica after the capital, San Jose. Now, from the center of Alajuela, we're going to head up to the Poas Volcano, which is about 50-minute drive depending on traffic. Once you get out of the city of Alajuela, you're going to have a very nice scenic drive up the mountain towards the volcano. This is a very popular area for picnics on the side of the road. People are going to pull over uh, and enjoy the full view of the Central Valley below. Now, as we head to the main entrance of the Volcano Poas National Park, it is required that you have reservations to get into the park. They are limiting the number of persons uh, that can enter, so be sure you reserve in advance. To reserve your spot, you need to go to the website of the Costa Rican Conservation Park System. As you can see it right now, I'm showing it on the screen. I will also include a link in the description for you as well. If you are a tourist visiting the park, then the cost for, of entrance is $16.95 for those over the age of 13 and $5.65 for children under the age of 13. Uh, if you're a citizen or a permanent resident in Costa Rica, then they have uh, discounts. Once inside the park, you're going to walk up to the visitor center. Now here's where they have all the bathrooms, souvenir shop, and uh, food as well. Um, and now from the visitor center, you can follow this route up here that I'm showing you on the screen on the map, which is just a few minutes walk, and there's where you're going to see the main attraction, which is the crater to Volcano Poas. This visit is during the Costa Rican summer, so we were able to have a clear view of the crater. Now the weather up here does change pretty quickly. On the day we were here, it was cloudy early in the morning, but then by 11 a.m. it uh, cleared up, so you never know what you're going to see on your visit. I will leave a link in the description for you to the live camera feed that they have installed at the crater so you can see what the weather conditions are before your visit. Now from the crater you can continue the path loop and walk to Laguna Botos. This is an extinct crater that over the years has filled up with water uh, to form this lake. The lake is known for its bright blue color which is caused by the minerals in the water. Now the walking up to this path is in really good shape so you should have no trouble uh, getting up to this area. This is the view from the main observation deck around the lake. Now you can continue to walk further up and that will give you different views of the lake as well. Now from this point at Laguna Botos you can now continue on another path that is about one mile long and this is going to drop you down to the parking lot where you enter the park. Uh, if you don't want to do that you can also go back to the crater observation deck and the entrance which is about a half a mile. In our case, we spent a little over two hours inside the park, so this is a very nice day trip for those of you that are in the area. On the way out, you're going to pass through the town of Frajanes, which is known for its strawberry cultivations and the Frajanes Lake Recreation Area. This is also a great place where you're going to find options for food, uh, mostly the focus on Costa Rican meals. So one of our favorites would be Chubascos, and this is where we stop for lunch. I will leave a link in the description to Chubascos and the menu for those of you that are in the area and want to try some typical Costa Rican food at reasonable prices. Okay, this wraps up our visit to Volcano Poas and the area surrounding it as we head back into the city of San Jose. If you're interested in visiting or moving to Costa Rica, check out some of our other videos. And if you have not done so, subscribe to the channel so that we can continue to bring you more videos about life in Costa Rica. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments section, and see you on the next one.